What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the World of Juice channel. Welcome to a little bit of a discussion video today. It's not going to be a reaction video. It's not going to be uh, me trying a weird food. It is going to be uh, like a round table discussion kind of. Only I'm sitting at a desk and there's no round table and it's just me. <laughs> but the the discussion topic is going to be as you guys already know by the title of this video, um, my personal, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you, my personal Mount Rushmore of NFL players, not just quarterbacks, not running backs, wide receivers, whatever, it's everybody, all put together, all ranked accordingly, all taken into account every position, the qualities, even kickers, have. I have taken into account the greatest kickers of all time, but they're, look, they're not in the list, <laughs> but... It's going to be my Mount Rushmore of NFL players, in my opinion, of all time. So, basically, if you don't know what a Mount Rushmore list is, it is you take four players that are the you that, in your opinion, are the greatest players to ever play the game that you are that you are doing. In my case, it's football. So. Um, there's a lot of, there's some for basketball and, and soccer and wrestling and, and there's, there's Mount Rushmore's of everything. And obviously there's Mount Rushmore of presidents because that's where the, the term comes from. So in my personal Mount Rushmore, I would have, it, it took a, a lot of thinking. It definitely took a lot of deciding who I wanted to officially put in my Mount Rushmore, who I thought would be the most deserving of a spot in it and obviously there's one that is unanimous that everybody should have in their Mount Rushmore and it's not just because I'm a bias it's not just because I'm a Patriots fan but obviously Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time there's literally no discussion Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time so he may even be top three greatest players of all time. So that is obviously number one. Tom Brady's on the Mount Rushmore, obviously. There's no discussion there. He's on everybody's Mount Rushmore. If he's not on your Mount Rushmore, then you don't know what you're talking about. So Brady's on the list. And then number two, probably on everybody else's is list as well, is Jerry Rice. And he's on my list too. He is the second player on the Mount Rushmore. Jerry Rice, in my opinion, is the greatest wide receiver of all time. Now, a lot of people think that that um, maybe Randy Moss is better. Maybe uh, Terrell Owens is better. Maybe Michael Irving is better. There's a, there's a few players out there that you might want to put on the list, but those players that I mentioned, even it hurts me to say that Randy Moss is in that list, but they don't really compare to what Jerry Rice is or what Jerry Rice was when he was playing for the 49ers and the, the Raiders. And I don't know if he played for, I don't think he played for anybody else, but J Jerry Rice is one of those guys where you just, you're in shock and you're in awe when you watch him, when you watch him play. Like I've seen plenty of Jerry Rice film. I wasn't old enough, obviously to um, see him live, but uh, unlike that with Tom Brady, I watched Tom Brady's career um, play out right like in front of my eyes so that's why I have a a firm belief that he's the greatest player of all time now I haven't seen some of the older guys this list I, I do want to point out that this my list is like the Super Bowl era so people like Otto Graham and and people of that generation are not going to be on the list even though they're very very good players um, they're not going to be on this list so, but what I was saying about Tom Brady was just that I got to see Tom Brady live and, and watch him play in my own era. So that's why I have a more stronger connection to the belief that Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time. And I think that Jerry Rice is the greatest wide receiver of all time. I've seen Randy Moss play. I've seen Terrell Owens play. I've seen... Uh, Michael Irving play 
uh, on highlights just like um, just like Jerry Rice. And if you put Michael Irvin and Jerry Rice together, I'm pretty sure Jerry Rice is above on everybody else's list as well. So, I mean, he's just he's just the greatest he's the greatest wide receiver of all time. He's got all the receiving stats. He's got all the records. He's got the Super Bowls. He's got He's got it all. He's got everything. His jersey's retired. Uh, I mean, what else can you ask for? I mean, he's he's just the the best wide receiver of all time. So he is second on my list. I don't know if I'm gonna rank him like one, two, three, four, or if I'm just gonna have him in no specific order. But I've just been saying one and two so far. But if I was gonna rank him, Tom Brady would obviously be, well, obviously be number one. Um, I don't know. I'll just go. Jerry Rice is second on the list. He's it's not in a particular particular order. Um, number three is gonna be maybe not in everybody's mind. People would probably think I was gonna say like I don't know Joe Montana or Terry Bradshaw or Peyton Manning or or a quarterback. But third on my list is going to be a defensive player. Um one of the if not the greatest linebacker in the NFL history in like all of the history of the NFL this man is probably one and one or two on the greatest linebackers of all time list i'd probably put him in number 1 and uh it is Lawrence Taylor LT the original LT not Ladanian Tomlinson um, but Lawrence Taylor, in my opinion, is one of the best players of all time. He's the most dominant linebacker the sport has ever seen. He has Super Bowls to back it up. He has records to back it up. He has stats to back it up. I'm not sure if his jersey is retired. I would assume it is for the Giants. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. I, I can't remember if it is or not. But, but yeah, Lawrence Taylor is just... He's he was a freak of nature. He was well before his time. He was he was dominating in an era that a lot of linebackers were very good, but there was the upper echelon of linebackers, and Lawrence Taylor was at the top of that. So, I mean, Lawrence Taylor is just I don't know what else I could say. Lawrence Taylor is third on the list. He is on the Mount Rushmore of greatest players of all time. And then number four, number four on my list, I I definitely struggled with this one. I wasn't sure who I was going to put on there with these three great players, Brady, Jerry Rice, and Lawrence Taylor. But I finally came to a decision, and it was, it was definitely a tough one, but my fourth um, my fourth player on the Mount Rushmore is going to be Joe Montana. Now, I know what you're going to say. You already have a quarterback on the list, but you can't deny the facts. You can't deny them. Joe Montana is number two on the greatest quarterbacks of all time list. Brady's obviously number one because he has more Super Bowls. He has more stats. He has. He's just got a better career. But Joe Montana is right there behind him. He is the second he is second on the depth chart. If you're going to start a team, Joe Montana would be number two. So he's got the Super Bowls. He's got all. Sorry, he's got the records too. He's got his jersey. I'm pretty sure his jersey retired for San Francisco. He's he's probably. I think he's in their Ring of Honor. He's a Hall of Famer. He's all these guys are Hall of Famers, by the way. Um, he's. It's Joe Montana. Like people will go with the discussion of the argument of who's better, Brady or Montana. For me, it's Brady, but Joe Montana is right there after him. So, not having Joe Montana on the Mount Rushmore, in my opinion, is just a little bit weird. Like if I would have put, I don't know, I debated Peyton Manning on the list, and yeah, Peyton Manning's a good quarterback. He's got two Super Bowls. He's a legend in the business. He's gonna be a Hall of Famer, but. I think I feel like Joe Montana is better. This, but it's just my opinion. If you think that anybody's better, that is completely fine. It's 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 all up to debate. That's what the beauty of what we what what we do. That's the beauty of what we do here. Is it's just an opinion. But that's just my Mount Rushmore. 
Um, if you have a different Mount, Mount Rushmore, that is completely fine. It is, it, it's fine. Like we're all entitled to our own opinions. So you guys can, I'm very curious to see if you guys have a different Mount Rushmore than me, you guys can let me know down in the comment section down below. If, uh, if you think that my list is a little bit, um, like if you don't agree with it, um, you shouldn't disagree with the fact that Tom Brady and Jerry Rice are on there, but if you disagree with Lawrence Taylor or Joe Montana, that's completely fine. Um, that's all up for debate. We can have a discussion about that in the, the comments. I would be happy to to um, learn other people's uh, Mel Rushmore's. I'd like to. I'd be. I'm curious to see if you have anybody different. If you have, if you do have Peyton Manning on the list, or if you have uh, Walter Payton on the list, or um, I don't know. If you have Ed Reed or Ray Lewis or or whoever, it doesn't really matter. But this is just my um, personal Mount Rushmore for NFL players. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a quarterback one. That might be pretty interesting. I would have Joe Montana and Tom Brady obviously on there as well. But I don't know who I would put else who I else I would put on there. Would I put Peyton Manning on there? I'm not really too sure what I would do on the quarterback one. I'd have to do a little bit more in-depth research and, and go through some of the greatest quarterbacks of all time to make my decision. But I, I really, I really enjoy doing like discussion topics and stuff. Cause I like, I obviously have a lot of opinions <laughs> being a, uh, a YouTuber. So I, I I have this platform to discuss my opinions, and, and you guys obviously don't have to agree with them. It's That's the beauty of, what, of the world that we live in. But that's that's going to be my – that's my Mount Rushmore uh, to go over it again is Tom Brady, Jerry Rice, Lawrence Taylor, and Joe Montana, the four people in my Mount Rushmore of the greatest NFL football players of all time. Um, like I said, if you have anybody else that you would like to see replaced in there, that's totally fine. If you have a different, entire, different, entirely different Mount Rushmore, you can leave it down in the comments below. That would be really cool to see. Um, but you can't, you can't deny the fact that Tom Brady is the greatest player of all time, if not the greatest quarterback of all time, at least. Um, he's just, he's got six Super Bowls. He's got. He's, he's he's got it all. He's got he's he's done everything. He's, there's literally nothing else for him to do. So, I mean, he's won MVPs. He's won Super Bowl MVPs, Super Bowls, ro MV, Rookie of the Year. I don't, he wasn't Rookie of the Year. He could, he could try and go back and do that. Um, but I mean, yeah. So Tom Brady, Jerry Rice, Lawrence Taylor, and Joe Montana are my four on the Mount Rushmore. That is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys do enjoy it. If you want to see more kind of discussion topics. Um, you can leave them down below in the comments and I will um, do more discussion topics. But yeah, that's going to be this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to smash the like button on this video and uh, hit the subscription button and the notification bell down below as well. And I will see you guys in the next one. See ya!